Putting an F1 engine on a road car is no easy task. That's why we have only a few examples of this. But looks like every now and then a car maker gives the F1 engine a try. And so did Peter Monteverdi in 1992. So hello guys and welcome back to another short stories episode and here is the Monteverdi High 650 F1. The Monteverdi name is almost unknown, but his Swiss car maker has quite a rich and interesting history. Like Lamborghini, Monteverdi also entered the sport car market after an argument that he had with Enzo. Ferrari tried to insist that Monteverdi would have to buy a fairly large batch of cars from him, while paying in advance. Monteverdi was against this deal, plus he hinted that the cars from Maranello were not reliable and uncomfortable. His rich uh, clients often complain about the lack of luxury on Ferraris. However, the dialogue didn't work out, breaking this way a partnership that had lasted almost 8 years. And so Monteverdi decided to go on the footstep of Ferruccio, going against the Cometadore and creating his own company. But differently from Lamborghini, Monteverdi decided to use a formula which was quite popular at the time. This was building Italian bodied cars with um, big American agents. And this is probably the reason why Monteverdi never made it big like Lamborghini. By the late 70s they saw a hard decline on sales, and so they became more like coach builders, working with Mercedes, Range Rovers and a number of other cars and in 1984 Monteverdi had to close its doors. But the full story of Monteverdi is a story for another time. By the early 90s Monteverdi decided to enter the car market again, and like many others he planned to do this by building a supercar. And this was no ordinary supercar, since it was going to be powered by a F1 engine. In 1990 Peter Monteverdi bought a struggling F1 team called Onyx. But by the time that Monteverdi got the full ownership and the naming rights, the team had gone bankrupt. Without an F1 team but with an F1 car, Peter decided to enter the production market again. And in 1992 Monteverdi presented the High 650 F1. The Onyx F1 car used a Cosworth DFR 3.6 liter V8. This was quite a popular engine among F1 teams in the late 80s, with names like Benetton, Jordan, Tyrell among others, utilizing different versions of this engine. Now it's quite hard to find exact specs and information about the 650, since the car never made a public debut and was only shown to potential customers. But Monteverdi Museum, which was founded in 1985 by Peter himself, claims that the car had 650 horsepower at 11,000 rpm and a curb weight of supposedly 550 kilos, which is quite hard to believe for a car of this size, despite the use of carbon fiber. The top speed was at 320 km per hour, while the acceleration time at 3 seconds. The design on the other side was quite generic for the time and quite similar with the Nazca and the Centenaria of Monte Carlo automobile. The price of the car was 1 million Deutschmarks, which was double the price of, the, of an F40. Only two prototypes were ever built, one in red and one with a gradient purple to silver color. There are a number of sources that claim that six examples were built, but that is hard to believe, since no one has seen one of these cars on the roads. So guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.